This hyperaction language is called reverse a linked list. We're going to receive a pointer to the head nodes of a linked list, and we need to change the next pointers of the nodes so that the order of the nodes in the linked list is reversed. Here's an example. Let's say this is our initial list, what I'm displaying here. So we have five nodes, one, two, three, four, five. Our linked list is supposed to be like this. So whatever was the head at the beginning in the initial list will become the tail. And you can see this because it's now pointing to null. And whatever was the tail here becomes the head. So I've made this slightly better illustration for you guys. Let's say this is our linked list. We have four nodes. The first one is the head nodes. And the last one is a tail node pointing to null. So the approach here, what we're going to do to solve this challenge is first create a pointer that I'm going to call brief and it's going to point to the head nodes. Next, we're going to create a pointer called current. And now inside of a while loop, we are going to redirect the pointers. But before we do that, we need to make sure that we convert our head nodes to the tail nodes. And by converting, what I really mean is redirecting the pointer of the head node to null. Now it appears like we've lost the connection between our priv nodes and our current nodes, but no worries because we've stored the address of the next node inside of our pointer that we've called current. So what we can do now is create another pointer that I'm going to call next. And next is going to store the address of the nodes after current. The reason why I'm doing this is because I need to redirect the next pointer of my current nodes to my previous nodes. So that's how I'm doing it. Now that we've reversed the first two nodes, we need to redirect the other pointers in the rest of the list. So what I can do now is say prev equals current and current equals next. Next up, I can create again a next pointer. It's going to point to the nodes after current. And now I can redirect the next pointer of my current nodes to my prev nodes. We can continue and I'm moving my prev pointer and my current pointer ahead. So now next is going to point to null. And I can again redirect the next pointer of my current nodes to my previous nodes. And at this point, the while loop is supposed to exit because current is going to be null. So notice here that prev is going to stop at the tail nodes or whatever was the tail nodes in the initial list. So at that point, prev is now the new head. So now this is what it looks like in code. I have this function called reverse and it takes in the head pointer of a linked list. Now that pointer may be null. So I'm checking here. If the head pointer is null, simply return the head because we need to return a node pointer. Otherwise, we're going to create prev and current. And then I'm going to set my next pointer for the head node to a null pointer. So this is C++, so I can use null PTR, but I'm going to show you in C. Uh, you can use the null keyword if you want. You could also use it in C++ if you want, but this is just my preference. Now let's move to the while loop. It's checking against the current pointer. And if it's valid, then we're going to create our next pointer. So the next pointer here is going to point to current.next. Now I can redirect the pointer of my current node to the previous pointer. So this arrow here between the current node and the next node, now I'm going to move to the prev nodes. And then I can move my prev pointer and my current pointer one node ahead. So once we are done, we return prev because now prev is a new head. So I'm just going to submit this code now. This is C++, and then we can switch to the C version. So notice here that I get this error, and this is simply because I made a typo, so it should be singly linked list nodes, but I had a K here, so let me submit again. And now everything passes fine. So just be careful, guys, with the typos. I'm just going to leave that in the video, and I'm going to switch to C. So this here is the C code. I'm just going to switch null PTR to null, and everything else is pretty much the same. So let me submit this code in C and we've passed all the test cases. So that's it guys for this Hacker Challenge. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications and I'll catch you next time.